Welcome to the Unidata tutorial on using WarnGen in AWIPS. First, from the radar menu, we will load the Nextra display to see which county warning areas currently have active storms. In order to be able to draw the warnings, CAVE has to be localized as that CWA. Note that warnings can only be created for one CWA at a time. There are some storms in the Paducah or PAH CWA. By going to CAVE, Preferences, Localization, we can change the site to PAH here. We will have to restart CAVE for the changes to take effect. Note that the Restart Now button does not work, so we will click Apply, OK, and then exit out and open up a new CAVE. Notice at the top, we are now localized as PAH. We can now load the single radar 0.5 reflectivity and SRM from the KPAH radar. By using the period or delete key found on the number pad, you can toggle between the reflectivity and velocity products. Load WarnGen by clicking on the button and zoom into the storm feature that you want to create a warning for. Start by dragging the Drag Me to Storm marker to the storm feature. Use the arrow keys to step back and forth and adjust the marker to match the trajectory of the storm feature. By pressing track, this will draw the warning box based off the adjustments you made to the markers. Again, you can step back and forth to make sure the storm feature is following the correct trajectory. From the WarnGen dialog, you can select the type of warning to generate, the time range, basis, and any threats. If you don't like the initial size of your warning, you can adjust the vertices. When you are ready, click the Create Text at the bottom of the WarnGen dialog to generate the text warning product. Note, these top two rows are blank, but that's okay since we won't actually be issuing the warning. We can see the selections we made in the WarnGen dialog have translated into the text. Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing damaging winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Now let's reset and go through how to draw a warning for a line of storms. Select the line of storms radio button. Notice there are two markers on the drag line to storm, one for each end of the line. Drag both of these markers to the edge of the line of storms. To add a new vertex, middle button click on the line. You can now adjust this marker position as well. This comes in very handy for bow echoes. Similar to a single storm, you can use the arrow keys to step backward and forward to adjust the trajectory of the line of storms. When you're ready, click the track button to get the updated polygon. You can try adjusting the time range, but be sure to click track again. When you're happy with your polygon and have made your selections in the WarnGen dialog, you can click create text. Again, these top two rows are blank, but that's okay since we won't be issuing the warning. Looking at the text, it now says Doppler radar indicated a line of severe storms capable of producing damaging winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. That's all for now, but please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any further questions. Thanks.